Hello, this is a quick clip about some very easy to use functions that we can work with and how to apply them for vectors and matrices constructed in MathCAD. On the Functions tab, in the Vector and Matrix panel, you'll find functions with algorithms that run behind them, so you can directly insert them in your worksheet and run your calculations without a prepared setup or additional programming. To illustrate this, we are going to see three of the most common functions. In our first example, we have two vectors with the same values. The difference between the two is that they have different measures of length attached to them. For v1, the units are meters, and for v2, inches. The function max will give you the maximum value by searching in both vectors if we type max of v1 and v2 and press equals, we'll see a value that corresponds to the third position in v1. Let's insert mean of v1 and v2 since we also have this option to either type or insert them and we can get rid of these extra placeholders. When evaluating it, we'll see the value in meters since we are positioned by default in MathCAD in the international system of units. So now if we switch meters to inches, we'll see the value corresponding to the first position in the second vector. In the functions, we could add more values to choose from not necessarily from vectors, as for instance, max of 2, 7, and v1 will return a message letting us know about the unit's incompatibility, and then we could add units to our values in order to get the result in units, or we could remove them and simply divide by um, the afferent uh, units for v1 and then we'll get a result without units. For the second example, we have a small matrix and we want to see the arithmetical mean of the values contained in it. We simply type mean of m and then we are going to see our result. Now, the geometric mean and the harmonic mean both have also intuitive names that can be used uh, just as fast and are easy to introduce. So we are going to have G mean and H mean of M and here are our outcomes. Thank you for watching.